Hello everyone. So today we are going to see some of the Pega shortcuts, which uh, we can see and how we can use what are those keys in terms of them. Okay. So generally, what are the shortcut keys? So as you all know that we, we can access the application through mouse or if you want, you can use the shortcut keys from the keyboard as well. So any action which generally requires mouse clicks becomes more convenient to do via keyboard shortcuts. So these shortcuts are also called as hotkeys. Okay, so in general, in the Microsoft Word or Notepad, we'll be using Control N and Control S. Okay, even for copy paste, Control C, Control V like that. So in the same way in Pega also, to access the application, we have some of the shortcut keys. Okay, so these shortcut keys are divided into three types in Pega. So the first one are the basic actions, second one are the form actions, and the third one are the tools actions. So what are the basic actions and what are the form actions? What are the tool actions? So the basic actions means uh, the common navigation operations within the designer studio, such as like opening the home page, logging out, and collapsing or exp explorer the panels. And uh, whereas the form actions means common action operations performed on a rule like a data instance such as save, check out, and refresh, all these things. And the tool actions means, as you know, there are some debugging tools in Pega. So like Tracer, Clipboard, Live UI, Paul, and so all these things. So those are things. So to access those things, how we can use that? So when it comes to the basic actions, so these are the basic Pega actions. And for that, the respective shortcut keys. So to open the Pega PRPC help from the PRPC application, we can use the control plus single quote. Okay. And whereas it comes to the home page, we can use the control alt home. And if you want to open the operator preferences, control alt K for the log of control alt end. And to collapse and expand the explorer pane, we can use shift right arrow or shift left arrow. So for example, here, you see, I have opened this developer studio. Okay, from the developer studio here, if you want to access anything, then you can do that. For example, if you want to go to the home page. So what is the shortcut key for the home page? Control Alt plus home, right? So go there. Now, Control Alt home key from the keyboard. See, directly you have come to the home page. So even though wherever you are, in whichever the rule you have opened, from that, if you want to go to the home, then you can select that control alt plus home. And if you want to open the operator preferences, control alt K. So here in general, we will be going like by selecting this and then preferences. So instead of that, what we can do, we can select control alt plus K. So I'm selecting control alt K. So like you see, it has opened this. The operator preferences has been opened it. Okay, and even if you want to collapse or expand this one. So for that, it is having like shift right arrow and shift left arrow. Now it's already expanded. Now select shift left arrow. You see it's been collapsed and shift right arrow. It's been expanded. And if you want to log off, control alt end. Okay, maybe we will do it at the end. Okay, so these are the basic actions which we can perform. And when it comes to the form actions, so for example, I want to create a new record. Then for that, you can select Control Alt N. But when you select Control Alt N, which record it is going to create it? That means in case if you are on the data page, okay, if you are on the data page, now if you select Control Alt N, Control Alt N, it is going to create the new database instance. Okay, in case if you are on the activity, now if you select Control Alt N, it is going to create the new activity instance. So likewise, in whichever the rule you have opened and you are on the current rule, okay, so based on that control alt, and when you select, it is going to create the new record. And even if you want to save the record, it is controlless, which is very common. Okay, likewise, now, for example, I, would say I have checked out this activity. Okay, now if you made any change, Okay, and then 
instead of selecting save you can select control s see saving and then it's a save okay so this is the other method name obj new that is different thing but as we are doing the shortcut that is the one okay and then control s so now in case if you want to check in or check out or private edit then control alt f so now this rule is already checked out so now if you want to check in then control alt f control alt f so it is asking the check in comments shortcut key example check in likewise and now it is already checked in now even if you want to check out also the same thing control alt f control alt f see it's been already checked out okay so in case if this rule set is logged then it is going to be open in the private edit mode now for example i made the changes but i don't want to check in this then what you can do you can select control alt d okay now i want to discard this control alt d see are you sure you want to discard yes discard it like that okay and there are some more form actions like in case if you want to save as this then control alt c control alt c the same activity compliance record okay it is going to save as you test and then create and open likewise you can do the save as of the record and in the same way in case if you want to see the xml of the record and or java or even if you want to see the references of this particular record then control alt i for example for this database if you want to see control alt i then it will open the references of this particular database see here okay right now there are no referencing rules for this particular database okay and the same way if you want to run this database then control alt to r so here you should remember you should identify by this time mostly alt is adding in general the window supports control plus the key the character but whereas the pega added along with the control the alt has been added so along with control alt the respective character makes the respective functionality which you want it to be performed okay so like we then control alt r to run this data page like this okay and even if you want to see the preview or if you want to refresh then you can use control alt p and then control alt l okay so and close the record currently in focus control alt w so this database if you want to close control alt w it's been closed okay like that these are the form actions now let's come to the tools actions so these are the debugging tools which we use in general in pega so for the tracer control alt t control alt t i like create the tracer has been opened it and in the same way, if you want to open the clipboard control alt d control alt d yes the clipboard has been opened and in the same way if you want to enable or disable the live ui you can use the control alt q so generally these are the debugging tools which we have it right so instead of selecting from here then we can use the shortcut keys so simply instead of using that mouse we can use this shortcut keys and if you want to launch the ball control alt g and if you want to launch the logs then control alt a so control alt a like this the logs issues has been opened it so for the ball control alt g okay ball means performance control alt g performance analyzer
So like this, we can use the shortcut keys to open the particular role or else to perform the functionality on the developer studio. That's all guys. This is a small video which I would like to tell you. So thank you. See you. Bye-bye.